I think he's number one there now, believe it or not. Uh, I think he's... Or number two. Over Bladewise? No, I think uh, Bladewise should still be number one, and then Calm Master is two. Okay, you're and probably then, right. I think maybe. Panda might be three. Okay. He's definitely top three. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what uh, Chrono told me, but yeah. He's yeah. definitely been on the up and up, and you know, he's also been doing a lot of work in school for UCF for coding and all that, so right. definitely a grinder. And he's got a really unique style to see here. The only problem is he has a tendency to SD a lot, so I'm hoping, just like Cobalt, he avoids it this time. <laughs> We did see a couple a couple SDs from, from, from Panda in the previous sets. Yeah. So no, he's definitely he's a wild fox, but he makes a lot of like really smart just move decisions. Right. Nice little follow up there from Lucky. Every single time he gets any platform pop up, he's so good at reading whether he's gonna roll left or right or in place. He always yeah. in the back of there. Yeah. Really good edge guarding from him too. The standard fox where you dip a little bit low and then jump back with the back air. Mm -hmm. Covers so many angles. Yeah, as well as uh, getting to the left. Ooh, Ooh wow, this little turnaround soft bear there. And the soft little back air would have been good. Oh, oh, and and oh yeah. that hurts. So he got that a billion times against Null in their, in their earlier set. So the shine turn really confident air. on it, but he was just yeah. a little bit too close and got burned. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. It actually would have yeah. been maybe better to go for just the straight shine there yeah. rather than going for the shine bear. Oh, again. Nice. Uh oh, he almost lost two stocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he really did. It's looking scary. Oh man, but the shorten is a really good answer to that shine back air. Mm -hmm. He can see the shines all uh, coming, so he can just change up the timing of the, the side B. Right. Okay. Oh. Ooh. One, and two, three, follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of damage. Oh, wow. nice. <laughs> Doesn't even try to turn it around. Yeah. I thought he was going to go at least go for like, the soft back air, but he has to convert it two hard hit ones because he yep. can't get him. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of foxes would go for the shine turnaround back air there, but I think that might have given him a chance to get out. Yeah, tight timing window. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Like oh my god. Oof. The crouch cancel oh. that tries to do the shine back air of an, on yeah, his own. Panda yeah. has, if Panda wants any chance to win this game, he has to like convert off those super tiny gimps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and again, oh, the same situation. Panda not been able to get those the way he was against Null. I do think a lot of that is Lucky changing up the timings of how he's recovering. I think so, too. Okay. Sure. There you he go. Okay. That time. Man, you better, okay. yeah. that time barely. you really can't mix it up. Like, he has to go for No, up yeah, there's only one angle that's going to recover right. properly there. So, Chillin', I've seen certain Fox players win these all the time. Yeah. So. No, it's, it's definitely possible. You would think against Lucky, though, he's got the composure to, to mm. close this type of situation yeah. out. Yeah. That's a rough one. Uh, That's a toughie. Yep. I think my, my mic is kind of weird right now. If you can fix it, otherwise it's all good. I think I think we I hear I, you we, fine. We hear you okay. Oh, you hear me I don't okay? know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if the chat doesn't hear me, but it's oh. all good. I'll, I'll speak a little loudly. Dang. So game two, Panda yep. loves taking every single matchup like under the sun to this stage. <laughs> it kind of matches a super like I'm gonna wall you in with no space playstyle. Right. But Lucky catches Panda every time on his approaches. I think, grab. I think Lucky oh. is also super good on the stage, right? Lucky this is guy, on today. It's, it's, yeah. it's kind of scary to take Lucky to a stage like this, especially when he's so on point with his aggression. Right. Oh, man. There's nowhere to go. Shine. There's nowhere to go. I, yep. I, heard, I heard Lucky beat that Genghis Wan guy today, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's kind of wild. That's, that's probably his that's best win, win of the day. That was like an that was like an office we level awkward <laughs> pause. That was an office level awkward pause. <laughs> oh man. Uh, All right. Oh. Okay. And actually, with the first lead of the set right here. Yeah. Um. He almost had another stock there. Not quite getting it. Oh. 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 He's got the wall. Oh. Jump. oh yo, lucky. That was yeah. not luck at all. That we was skill. Back that air. Was, wall jump shine. So sick. Let's sit down. Oh, it's nice. We got Mango here. Okay. I'm gonna finish the set. Mango's gonna hop off the afterwards. Right. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Thanks for joining us, Genghis. I don't have Genghis huh? Juan. Thanks uh, for joining us, man. Yeah, no problem. As Bobak. Good old Genghis. And Lucky, just like that, evening it back up. Goes for the tech Double dash tech. Oh. What's the edge guard? Okay, yeah. It's oh. that's keeping it simple. Yeah, there's really not much you can do in that situation, yeah. right? Yeah, the shine and the back air will cover pretty much. Oh, oh. oh wait a I minute. Mean, wait a that minute. That helps, though. The question Panda. is here oh. can Lucky shake off that SD and not let it bother him? Yeah. Panda now knows he has his chance to win. Equal out the set, but it's getting really. Oh, it's a slobber oh, knocker. Oh, man. There are oh, so many. Man. Uh, Randall? Okay, yeah, he's just going to rinse and repeat, it looks like. Okay, oh, good great tech. tech. One more chance. Oh, oh but no, where are you going? But he's alive. Oh, he ah. he punishes oh. the tech. The shine back air actually punishes the shines him and then punishes the tech too with yeah. the back air. There were yep. so many situations where 
it felt like Panda actually had the upper hand, but he got hit in these kind of precarious moments that kind of lended itself to reversals. Right. Yeah. That kind of that's really unfortunate in Fox Dittos. Yeah. You get knocked off stage once and then suddenly you're dead. I think one of the biggest keys in a Fox Ditto, like I think both geez, both Jeez. players are cognizant that it's like one of the most volatile matchups. Yeah. So you yeah. know it's gonna be ebbs and flows a, a, like a bunch. Yeah. And the question is with those ebbs and flows, can you keep yourself together, not oh, tilt oh. over the things and right now Yeah, we're seeing Panda fall apart a little bit right now. I, I'm, I wouldn't say Panda's frustrated right now, but he's just his fingers aren't quite there. Right, yeah. He's getting a little overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. The, the momentum builds quicker in Fox Dittos than any other matchup. It's right. just one small thing. Whoa! Like that could suddenly put the big. momentum back in your favor. Like these crazy situations that come up, if you manage to make it work, That's you're feeling crazy. a lot better. Let's see if Panda can run with this a little bit. Forward throw into the tip. Oh, uh, two, two SDs? SDs. Two I mean, SDs? I, I hate to curse him, but... That's the, that's the Genghis Juan curse. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I say comes true. <laughs> oh, man. And Lucky will win this game in about 13 seconds. Ooh. All right. It's counted down. 10 seconds to go. OK. No okay. edge guard goes for it. Whoa, Whoa, Lucky. Yeah, nice little chain grab. This is getting ugly for Panda. Let's see if he's got anything left okay, in the OK, he tank. got one kill there. Good. Proved me wrong right there. He's got one more stock to try to pull this off. Oh, back to open it up. I like okay. the drill there. Yeah. yeah, but no grab. He's not also. Oh, yes. There's a lot of times it's he can be jab resetting a lot of times with those drill shines that he's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, just crouch yeah. cancel shine. There's almost nothing you can do there aside from a perfect sweet spot. Yeah, so nicely done from Lucky. Definitely driven right now. Doesn't want to relive yeah. the situation of face roll, knowing he was that close to winners finals. But yeah, finding he wants that run back in top here. four so far. And on the other side, of course, yeah. we're gonna have. The other side of losers, or that Coderin, would happen. Yeah, that Coderin. happened. So Coderin versus Lucky is Coderin versus semis. Plays, right. But before that, we have winners finals. Winners finals. S2J face roll. Ooh. S2J face roll. They've That's been going be a, a little bit back and forth in SoCal, right? Yeah, yeah a little bit. I believe I S2J usually wins, but I think face yeah. roll has a few sets on them. So. Yeah, face roll is definitely taking sets off of like every good player in SoCal. So you can't much. count them out. Yeah. I, I would say face out. face roll over more than anyone. I think a Sheik player or like in like the top 30 improved the most drastically like in this area. Him and yeah. Spark really, really and stepped it up in the past year. They put in so much work. Yeah. Like just, just from what no, you they see, it for sure. just from what you see, how they lab out like all these tech chase situations, mm -hmm. how they lab out their edge guarding. Yeah, you can see it in the Tough. in their play. Honestly, how much how much time and labbing they put into the game is reflected with how good their punishes are. I yeah. even so. I even played a, I played face roll at nudes nudes.